next question is a mouthful, so bear with me. Could you <laughs> describe in detail a particular scenario or incident in your travels yeah. where you imposed your style or philosophy on leadership? Maybe something that you did at Spalding or in the, in the, in the years with sports uh, or whatever. Yeah. I shouldn't answer it for you, sorry. No, um, you know, it would have to be Spalding, and I'll come back to the, the initial challenges we faced. Uh, which was people with great passion, but knowing that if we didn't do something dynamic, if we didn't do something quickly, uh, that we weren't going to be able to, you know, help and move students forward through mm -hmm. education. And it was really sitting down with everyone early on. And I mean, when I say everyone, I mean people who worked in the uh, cafeteria, managed the facilities down to our most senior faculty, and okay. say, this is the situation, and we need to work together on this, and we're going to have to make some tough decisions, and we're going to have to make them timely. Mm -hmm. And they're going to be hard, and there will be some that we might not all agree on, but we've got to be able to do this and continue to move forward. So what is it we do here really well? Mm -hmm. And it was that first you know, innovative idea towards scheduling where we moved to the six-week session, and it was risky. Uh, it's not something that was very well proven at the time. There was some good research and data, but we had to change the types of programs we offered, how we delivered them, and move forward. And it was that balance of decisiveness, hard decisions, but really engaging the broadest group of people. Maybe mm -hmm. back to that bucket of water, it's not yeah. just one. Yeah. Uh, and that, that I think would, most people, if you ask colleagues, that might be the one that they would pull out that they thought okay. uh, really kind of demonstrated. Gotcha.